Hello, my name is Nicole and I would like to share with you my 2018 skincare resolutions. So a little bit before the new year started, I was already determined that I wanted to have a drastic change when it came to my skincare. Um, I ultimately wasn't dissatisfied with my skin. Um, I have definitely been blessed with clear skin, but I just wanted more and I kind of felt a little selfish just wanting more from it. But I wanted to just radiate. I wanted to glow. I wanted to have that pregnancy glow people talk about without being pregnant, of course. And ultimately, I just haven't found something that or any product that ultimately gave me that glow. I always had to back it up with some um, sheer glowing um, substance or some makeup or some blush. I always just had to figure out a way to get that natural glow without it being natural. And I finally said for 2018, that's it. We are going to glow. And by we, I mean my skin and I. I wanted to make it and a journey that I wouldn't forget. And when this challenge came up, I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to just jumpstart, just go. Um, I had heard about Peach and Liddy via Instagram from a blogger I follow. Um, and I decided, you know what? Let's just go for it because it's now or never. So it's now a couple days from my 29th birthday. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to see the transition from the beginning of the year to 29. And when it came down to the challenge, I have to say that towards the first week, it was a little difficult just because I had to get used to the routine. And I was determined to stick to my routine. So there were some nights I was just not having it. And I was like, I do not want to get out of this very comfortable bed and have to go and double cleanse and just go through the entire routine. Um, but I ultimately did. I have to say that I went through every single day from the 1st of January till today, February uh, 10th. Um, and I have stuck with it. Um, I have done a couple of changes and added a couple of things um, just because I am one and I guess this is just my personality, but I wanted to do it all at once. I didn't want to just do the baby steps because I knew that if I did the baby steps, I would only see very small changes and I was looking for these drastic changes from here to 29. And um, ultimately, my this challenge I have decided to take on seems somewhat insurmountable because I said, how am I going to glow without makeup? No highlighter, no sheer glow moisture, just me and my natural skin. Um, and thank God for Peach and Lily, I was able to find products that not only work with my skin, um, but that I truly feel give results. So a little bit of background on my skin is that I have a very complex skin. It's very sensitive um, in terms of it doesn't just, it doesn't like products, period. <laughs> it doesn't like products. It's just, it's very finicky. And so what I have done for the last, you know, 28 years of my life has basically been just not messing with it. I don't really have any particular routine. I just wash it. And other than that, that's it. Um, so I can say I was one of those people that basically is had your regular shower items. So for example, I would normally just cleanse with my Neutrogena Clean and Clear, which didn't irritate my skin. And it was, it kept it balanced. It just kind of did a semi okay job. Um, and then of course, when I felt I needed a little extra boost and I felt like there was just too much dead skin cells, I would always go to my Origins um, Microdermabrasion um, product, which was always a little too abrasive. Um, and then finally, when it was just time to change it up and I just had, had enough of the Neutrogena, I would go to the Trader Joe's All-in-One Facial um, cleanser, which was good. Um, it didn't irritate my skin, but again, nothing major. And it was just regular. So I decided when I decided to do this challenge and basically turn my skincare routine around, I purchased everything. 
absolutely everything. I decided I needed it all and I wanted it all. And so I'm going to take you through what my routine looks like. Um, and I guess you can tell me if I now glow. So I currently have no makeup on. I have already cleansed my skin. So there are two products that I use for cleansing um, and I use religiously. So I use my oil cleanser and I follow it up with my mousse cleanser. These two products alone have changed my skin drastically. Um, I, I, I can't just sing enough praises about these products. Um, one of the complaints, as I had said about the, my old routine was that it was just, it wasn't, it was just okay. Um, so these two products I have to, I, I was just a little apprehensive. I will disclaim when I heard Alicia, um, say that double cleansing and you know, it's an oil based cleanser first. I was like, hold on oil face cleanser you're telling me that you want me to put oil on my face no 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 no, alicia you must not know oil cleansers are just gonna make me break out and my skin is gonna go haywire um but of course i did more research and i became a bit more comfortable with the idea of doing this double cleansing and i heard um i heard a couple of friends stop talking about it and ultimately i saw live testimonials and people were just raving left and right about this so i was like okay you know what? We are going to take this giant leap of faith and we are going to double cleanse. And that is what we're going to do this 2018. And it has proven to be the most beneficial step in my skin regimen. Um, I have seen drastic results in terms of right when I wash my face, I don't feel like my skin's being stripped. I don't feel like it's my, my and every, like it's a desert. Um, I truly feel like there has there has been some revitalization of my skin um, just with those two steps alone. So as I mentioned, I have already cleansed. Um, so I usually follow up with my toner. Um, I was not toning before, so this this little bottle is magic. <laughs> um, when I put this on, I feel like my skin is a sponge and it's sucking everything in. Um, I love the fragrance. I love the, the consistency. It's almost like a gel-like consistency. Um, and I just, I truly feel at maybe this is just me um, compensating, but I truly feel like my skin is benefiting from this product as soon as it touches my skin. Um, so as we'll do, we will go ahead and tone. So I haven't really figured out if this is a padding thing or if this is a rub-on thing, but just to be safe, we will do both. And then we'll pat. So just to keep it consistent because I usually put on two layers. Once I heard you could layer this, that completely changed this skin care game for me. I sometimes find myself sitting in front of the mirror just layering and layering. Okay, so we have now toned. We patted everything in. So, closer look. This is toned skinned. Okay. So, as I mentioned, I truly feel now like my skin has absorbed everything. And I feel like it, it's truly doing its job. I feel um, it feels refreshing um, and it feels as if there's nothing on there, which is crazy because I've just put two layers of this on. Um, I'll grab this little guy and pick up the hair real quick. Um, the next step that I usually follow with is my Lotus Essence. 
So I had no idea what Essence were. I had never used an Essence. I wasn't even sure what it did. Um, and of course, after watching a couple of videos, um, I have been fully educated by Alicia and a lot of the beauty, Korean beauty community. And I am pleased to say that this stuff works. It is truly magical. Like, if this may be the, the third step that gives me that glow factor. Um, and I love that it's light and that it's not, I don't feel like it's heavy. I don't feel um, like it's overpowering any of the other products. Um, so it, it kind of shines on its own. So we will put on the essence now. Again, I'm not sure if this is a padding product or if this is a rub on. So we will do both. So now that we have worked that in. So the difference from when I just toned to when I used the essence is that now I feel, um, I guess, a bit more tingling. Um, and I, it's still not heavy. Again, it's very light. Um, and I will go ahead and show you. I'm sure we have some glowing going on there. And that is my essence. So I, again, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have done it a little, taken the things a little further. So after my essence, I usually follow it up and I will either do my serum, which this, again, magic. It has all just been very magical, <laughs> this entire experience. Um, so I followed up with this, um, or I will go ahead and use, if my skin's feeling just a little queasy and it's not really cooperating, um, I'll go ahead and use the Real Tonic Soothing Origin Essence, and I'll just end with that because um, I don't want to overbear it or stress it out. Today it's feeling okay, so we are going to go ahead and use this. So I have just discovered that the best um, way to, I guess, boost this serum is by using the vitamin C. Um, so I will sometimes put in a bit of the vitamin C, a scoop of it, um, and mix it in in order to kind of boost the serum and its properties. So once again, I'm not really certain that I am correctly applying this. I know that it's put it on um so we pat and rub in just to make sure i guess if you do both then you'll kind of be on the safe side so this feels like a veil of of silk almost um it's very it's very um silky and it's very calming like my face feels like it's soothed um and i since at the bir my birthday is just a couple of days away um i wanted something that would truly start to target those fine lines and that will start to address the aging process um because i do i want to age gracefully so i thought that this was a great product in order to start addressing and building um, that a routine that would benefit that part of my my aging process, I suppose. Um, so this is what we have after the serum. And after the serum, I go straight into my eye cream or eye essence. 
So I have tried a lot of eye creams. Um, I come from a Hispanic background um, and I ultimately suffer from dark circles. It could be that I have slept 12 hours. It could be that I am on vacation, relaxing without any stress, and I will still have bags under my eyes and dark circles. This product, so as I mentioned, I do not have any makeup on right now. Um, this product has drastically changed the skin under my eye. Um, so we will apply. It feels as if it has basically repaired itself on a cellular level. Um, it has been very visible, especially since I'm not wearing concealer and I'm not um, hiding the dark circles. So I'm, I'm very aware of the changes that happen underneath my eye area. And if I have to describe the texture of this, the texture is, again, very light and very slippy. Um, so silky, slippy as well. Um, it goes straight into um, your skin, so it doesn't leave a residue on top of your skin, which is nice because if, if and when in the future I decide to wear makeup once again, which I'm sure will happen, um, I don't want to have it cake on to my makeup. So that is definitely something that has truly helped. Um, so that was the eye essence, and we'll give a closer look. And finally, so I have a couple of, I usually, and this was the part that was very difficult to just keep with, was the sunscreen. And you would probably say, Nicole, you live in Miami, in Florida, where it is always sunny. And that is very accurate. It is always sunny. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I shied away from ever just truly building a skincare routine was because of the sunscreen. So besides the fact that my skin was very finicky and has always been just very difficult, um, sunscreen causes it to just explode with irritation. It doesn't like sunscreen. It doesn't, I don't know what the components are. I have um, traveled very far uh, across the Atlantic to find some sunscreen um, and see dermatologists who are able to formulate a sunscreen that will work. And I have to say, hands down, this is the best sunscreen I have ever tried, and have tried many. Um, I have seen absolutely no breakouts with this product, and it is incredible how light and how just how 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 just unclogging it is. Um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful product. It's something that will go on, and you don't feel like it is overwhelming your skin. The scent is not overpowering, the texture isn't overpowering, um, and it lasts, which is great. So I have been able to use this. Um, it's a little late now, so I'm not going to put it on, but this has been very, um, it has been a game changer in my skin routine because I had never used sunscreen before. So I came to terms with the fact that I needed to find a sunscreen um, many years ago that was going to help me with this process of aging um, because you know I can use all these wonderful products but if I'm not using sunscreen the sun damage is just going to set me back 10 steps so I am very grateful if for nothing else for the sunscreen because it has truly helped me recover my ability to move forward um, with my anti-aging prevention um, and so a couple of other things is that I um, so I will use the moisture cream, um, which this product was surprising to me because I, again, had, because I didn't use a lot of product before and I didn't moisturize before and I also didn't use sunscreen before, I know, terrible. Um, this product was surprising in its, its texture and its ability to hydrate my skin. Um, the hydration was instant. As soon as I put it on, I felt my skin just completely hydrated. Um, and this was something that I didn't have to reapply um, it lasted all day, even in the Miami humidity. So you can only imagine when you are just dripping, okay, with Miami heat and humidity, and you just feel in the middle of this heat 
you know, you in this desert, you feel hydrated, which is surprising. Um, but it's it's it was absolutely wonderful to find this product. So we will go ahead and we'll use use a bit of this. So this would be the last step. Um, actually, you know, the, the sunscreen is my last step. And so this I just usually just work in. And it smells delicious, almost edible, but it's not. So as you can see, we now have final results. So this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning and when I leave my house. So I am so incredibly pleased with the glow, the natural glow, as I call it, my natural glow. Um, and just the texture of my skin, um, it feels silky. It feels hydrated. It feels um, smooth. It, I don't feel like the fine lines are, are, are very visible anymore. Um, I don't feel like the texture, I used to have a bit of peeling that has completely gone away. Um, there are just a couple other things I'd like to fix, but that's everyone. Um, I have a couple little spots on my forehead. I guess it's just from, you know, I guess suppose it's just from the weather perhaps. Um, but that has been my routine. Um, I can say that I am a true believer now. I am 100% transformed into K-beauty fanatic. I love the products. Um, if there was something I, if there's just two words I had to use to describe the K-beauty products and how this um, has benefited me, um, it has been transformative. Um, and it has been extremely hydrating. So something that I, I kept on saying was that everything's very light. Everything is very hydrating. Um, my skin doesn't feel like it's being stripped constantly um, of its natural oils or anything else. It, it truly feels like we're building upon something. Um, so just a couple of items that I have just gathered along the way and have would love to share is so here in hot Miami, lip balms are essentials. <laughs> These two lip balms have, um, have greatly helped. So I'm not a fan of just oily lip balms and I'm also not a fan of lipstick. So these are great assets to my everyday routine. Um, I can just put them on at any time and I don't feel like it's greasy. Um, another thing that has helped is also the eye masks. These are actually really gold. <laughs> They're golden. They help um, specifically when I'm just very tired and you can, my eyes can, they just need an extra boost. This has been an amazing game changer. And of course, my sleeping mask. So I will put this on whenever um, it's just been, you know, a hard day out in the sun in Miami. Um, and it, my face just needs a little reset. Um, I'll use that at night and kind of just reset the process. Um, but other than that, there's just one other thing that I have discovered, um, which completely wowed me. And that is my beloved sheet masks. <laughs> I will do a sheet mask almost every day. Um, and these are just a couple of my favorites. Um, they have truly been instrumental in the process of my K-Beauty transformation. Um, we have this one and some other ones here. I call these, these, these are my glow factors. <laughs> these three truly help me glow. Um, but other than that, that is basically a small glimpse into my K-Beauty challenge, um, my K-Beauty daily routine and I hope um, I hope I win because I have about five hundred dollars worth of things in my shopping cart right now that I'm dying to just pick up, um, and I am excited because this has been such a great change and such 
a benefit to me that I have shared it with all my friends and family because everyone, first of all, the first thing I get is, are you pregnant? Because I'm glowing, um, which I welcome it at any time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not pregnant, but I am glowing. Thank you. Um, but it has just been such a great experience and it's been such a blessing to find products that work, a company that I know has gone above and beyond to try these products, um, to teach me and educate me on how to use these products specifically because most of these products are in Korean and I don't speak Korean. So it's been very reassuring throughout this entire process to have supportive staff where I can send an email and say, um, hey, I'm not really sure how to use this. Can you tell me at what point I use it and um, how do you recommend I use it? And it's been very, it's just been a great experience to finally partner with, with a company that truly cares about my skin as much as I do. So thank you for that. And thank you for this challenge. I have grown as a K-beauty expert, I guess. And I have definitely um, learned a lot. I learned about, a lot about my skin. I learned a lot about what what it needs and how to how to listen to what it's trying to communicate. Sometimes it just needs a little more hydration. Sometimes it needs a little more ampoules, or sometimes it needs just a little more rest. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate and have taken advantage of this challenge on a very personal level, and um, I hope I win. And hopefully we'll see you in sunny Miami. I think Miami needs a peach and lily. I think we need a sword too. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.